Hey everyone, hey dear brothers and sisters. In doing this channel for years now, and I've mentioned that it really shows how similar we are all around the world. Whatever background or culture you have, there's little differences, but we are really very the same. And it's unfortunate, but Satan has deceived most of the world. I have been deceived by Satan in my life. Most people have, and a lot of people still are deceived. We are looking at a singer from Pakistan, Falik Shabar, Shabir. He's seen here, and this might sound funny to you guys, but sometimes when I see someone posing with sunglasses like this, it seems like they're trying to be pretty cool, and there's a good chance that they do the sign symbols and agendas, right? And that's the case with this person. When I say similar around the world, how many times have we seen someone posing with an overpriced car, right? Do what you want in this world, right? But th this seems very shallow to me and how original, hey? <laughs> like we see this all the time. It's in America, it's in Canada, it's in Pakistan. It's the whole world like this. So again, guy looking pretty hip and cool with his sunglasses on, right? And he wears sunglasses a lot in the photos that I've looked at through social media, etc. And posing with an overpriced car, this means he's successful, right? It's like this it's like the sign of success they put on their hand. He's doing the vow of silence here, keeping the secret of the biblical world, most likely about Freemasonry, about fame, fortune, and success, and how it works in the whole world, right? Fame, fortune, and success looks like that. And that, how, right? How original. The vow of silence, keeping the secret. And he's doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra, a gesture of Satan's fake enlightenment, right? The false light of Lucifer. Lucifer means light bearer. And it's most definitely the pride of humanity to pose like this. Sunglasses on inside, doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra, posing with a car like that. You guys understand, right? Right? And again, people, people do what makes them happy, I guess, but... Isn't this just like sad and shallow, right? Like if people have sold their souls for rock and roll or if they're just sold out to the world or to Satan, isn't it sad that this is what they get? This is what they think success is? Is this soul satisfying? Because I know the answer is no. No, it is not soul satisfying. You know what is? Salvation and forgiveness. Honestly, think about it. Think about eternity, are you sure about your eternity? Do you think you just die and go in the ground, lights out, nothing matters, game over? Because that's not the way reality works. Heaven and hell are real. People will go to one of those places. I don't want people to go to hell. I don't want my worst enemy to go to hell. I want God to take care of things and make things right. And he will do that. He's going to do that. He is doing that now. The ways of God are 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 not easy to understand for every person, right? His ways are so much higher than our ways. There's a lot of questions that <coughs> atheists have. Why would God allow this pain? Why would God allow the world to be like this? And I don't always have a great answer to give, but I know that God's ways are higher than my ways, our ways, and I trust in him 100%. My faith is in Jesus Christ, and that's where my faith belongs. That's where everyone's faith belongs. The whole point of this channel is to show what the world truly is, <clears throat> that it's no place to hang on to or love, right? Love not the world. If you love the world, the love of the Father is not in you. I do not love the world. These things can be nice, right? Maybe there was a time earlier in my life where I, maybe I wanted to be like this. Not really, but you know what I mean? Like a lot of people aspire for fame, fortune, and success. And I know that can be hard to give up, but... When you think about eternity, when you think about what really matters, you can't take a car with you when you pass away, right? You can't wear sunglasses all the time. <laughs> and doing this gesture here is my favorite gesture. It just shows the world for what it is, prideful. And we need to humble ourselves and realize the truth of Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, everyone else, God bless you.